All right, what's up, guys? So I'm here in, uh, you know, social distancing right now. So I figured now will be the best time to check out this suction cup mount I have for the Osmo Pocket, which I'm filming with right now. Um, so, you know, pretty much it's just a suction cup mount to put on a car or a vehicle. And um, I haven't tested it yet, but if it works, I'm definitely gonna be using it to film some rollers. So let's go find out. So the way this mount works is it has these threads on here and you get your adapter so you have to actually buy this separate there's actually a kit that you can buy that comes with this little case for it for the osmo and you just put it around the osmo and it has these um gopro like mounts i think it's actually the same mounts that gopros use um so you screw this onto the suction cup and then you can mount your uh, osmo in it all right, so I actually just switched to my phone real quick to show you what this looks like when it's set up. So, yeah, pretty much it just screws on top where that um, that screw was. It goes right on top there, and it just holds on, and then it mounts. So I'm going to start by mounting it on the hood. The suction's down. It's a little bit windy out today. So we'll see how the gimbal holds up in the wind with driving. Um, but yeah, so everything's tightened down, and... Uh, yeah, it's there. I have the Wi-Fi adapter on as well, so I can control it from my phone. And um, yeah, so we'll take a drive down here and back up to the spot, and we'll see we'll see how it holds up. I guess we're gonna have to put it in um, FPV mode, so that way it doesn't turn with the car turning. Um, so we'll see how that works. Okay, so it's filming right now. Um, it's mounted on the car. I have it connected to the app right here. And uh, let's go for this drive. Okay, so I just looked at the footage. Um, it did tilt a little more than I would have preferred, but it actually looks pretty cool. Um, the The tilt actually gives it a bit of like an, a more action vibe, so it feels a little more intense. Um, so for filming a car video with rollers, that's actually perfect. But if you were trying to film something more chill, you might have to fight with the, um, the settings a little bit. So when you're on your phone, you could actually control the gimbal. So when it starts tilting, you might have to fight with it. Like if you're the passenger in a car, for me, I can't exactly do that because I'm just by myself right now. So I can't really be focused on controlling the gimbal from my phone and driving at the same time. Okay, so with great difficulty and concentration, don't try this at home by the way, I was able to manage to play with the gimbal, make some motion while driving, um, and that actually looked really, really good. Um, so now I'm going to move the gimbal to the back of the car, see how it looks from the back, because realistically, that's where I would have it mounted um, when filming a chase, like if I'm the chase car and someone's behind me and I'm filming, filming rollers. The Mazda 3 has a pretty thick rear bumper, so I actually have a lot of surface area to put it um, to put it like on the bumper, but it's like tilted like crazy and I had to angle it. So it's like lined up with the horizon, but, um, yeah, so I'm going to try that. And then after I do one pass with, with it like this, I'm going to actually try to mount it like on here. So it's, you know, facing out like this parallel with the ground and, uh, we'll see how that is. I'm the only reason I'm worried about doing it like that is because you know, the, the weight is all the way out here. So if I go over any hard bumps or anything, it could cause the weight to pull the suction off, but it's a pretty strong suction. 
like it has so if you could see here the actual suction cup is still like suctioned and the mount itself has some play um i guess to help absorb vib vibration or something but yeah so I'll, I'll do another pass after i try this out Okay, so that was actually really cool. I love that angle. And even though when I do the pan it left or right, it tilts, I think that's actually a pretty cool, uh, like a stylized effect. Um, so I think that's definitely something I'm gonna use for rollers. Uh, but now we're gonna try mounting it on the trunk itself and see how that works. So far for all the tests, I've pretty much stayed around 20 miles an hour and especially on this bumpy road. Um, but just before I uh, stopped recording, I hit 40 and it was getting like I saw some vibrations through the camera so I think on a smooth road hitting about 40 should be all right but on this road 40 is a little too fast um, it's definitely not a good high speed uh, setup but I think it works especially if you're like on the back roads or something where you can go a little slower I mean the back roads around here the speed limit is 35 so that's actually perfect all right so I forgot that this um, arm is actually at a 90 degree angle so it's not sticking as far out as I thought um, so that's how that setup's gonna look and uh, we'll see how it is. It actually, I think it's gonna be fairly stable because when it was on the bumper, the bumper is kind of, you know, it's got some play to it. This is pretty solid. Um, so we'll give it a try. So, um, you know, that angle was pretty cool. It wasn't really much different than when it was on the bumper. Uh, but one thing I did notice is that if you see right here, I didn't mount it perfectly straight up and I didn't think that would be an issue because I figured the gimbal would compensate that little bit of tilt. But in fact, it didn't. So if you see on the footage, it's actually a little angled. Um, I'm shooting in 4K and I could always just punch it in a little bit and then just change the rotation and post, but that's not ideal. So if you are setting it up like this, make sure it's perfectly straight. Otherwise you'll see that in your footage. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful. I know I did because I had no idea what the footage was gonna look like and it's actually pretty good. So I highly recommend um, getting these accessories because if you wanna film car rollers or anything, totally worth the money so i will put a link to the this was actually a part of a kit so i'll put a link to the kit that this came with and i'll also put a link to just the suction cup mount on its own and i'll also provide a link for this this is really cool um i'll tell you a little bit about it so it comes with this so normally on the osmo pocket there is a little um connection for your phone or whatever this slides into that same connection and it's a little extra wheel and some buttons that you could assign to do whatever and then you have this here, which actually allows you to mount it onto accessories like the suction cup mount. And then this, which I always use all the time. So the Osmo doesn't actually have any wireless um, capabilities without this. So with this, you can control it from your phone and everything, which is awesome. You can unlock a lot more features. Anything that you could do with your phone plugged in, you could do wirelessly with this pretty much. So I highly, highly, highly recommend this bundle. At least get these two things because that's what you need if you want to film from your car. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.